Test 5. Part 1. Look at Part 1. Now we are ready to start. For each question, choose the correct answer. 1. What did the boy's uncle buy him for Christmas? Hi, James. I haven't seen you since Christmas. Did you get any clothes for Christmas? Yes. My uncle came down to stay with us and he bought me these new shoes. They look really nice. Did he get you that hat as well? No. My dad gave me that hat with some gloves, but my uncle did get me this expensive t-shirt. They go well with those jeans of yours. I need to get some new jeans. I think there is a sale in the shopping centre. Now listen again. Hi, James. I haven't seen you since Christmas. Did you get any clothes for Christmas? Yes. My uncle came down to stay with us and he bought me these new shoes. They look really nice. Did he get you that hat as well? No. My dad gave me that hat with some gloves, but my uncle did get me this expensive t-shirt. They go well with those jeans of yours. I need to get some new jeans. I think there is a sale in the shopping centre. Two. What job does Michelle's father do? Hi Michelle. I haven't seen your dad for a long time. How is he? Is he still driving a taxi for people going to the airport? Actually, he's taking a break from it at the moment and is doing some hours at the local garage. That's what my dad used to do when he was younger. Didn't he become the manager of a shop in the city centre? That's right. He's the sales manager at the department store next to the post office. Now listen again. Hi, Michelle. I haven't seen your dad for a long time. How is he? Is he still driving a taxi for people going to the airport? Actually, he's taking a break from it at the moment and is doing some hours at the local garage. That's what my dad used to do when he was younger. Didn't he become the manager of a shop in the city centre? That's right. He's the sales manager at the department store next to the post office. Three. How will Steve get to school tomorrow? Hi, Steve. I heard that your sister had her first driving test yesterday, didn't she? That's right. She didn't pass, though. She had practiced for over three months. It's a great shame she could have taken me to school every day, but I guess I'll have to get used to going by bus. Don't worry. We'll give you a lift tomorrow. We drive by your house anyway. If it's not too much trouble, that'll be great. I'm actually getting tired of the bus and I won't have to get up very early. Now listen again. Hi, Steve. I heard that your sister had her first driving test yesterday, didn't she? That's right. She didn't pass, though. She had practiced for over three months. It's a great shame she could have taken me to school every day, but I guess I'll have to get used to going by bus. Don't worry. We'll give you a lift tomorrow. We drive by your house anyway. If it's not too much trouble, that'll be great. I'm actually getting tired of the bus, and I won't have to get up very early. Four. What will the weather be like on Saturday? And now the weather for the next three days. Tomorrow, storms will continue across most of the country, except for the southeast, which will see some improvement in the evening. On Friday, winds will drop a lot, although rain will still cover most of the country and will become less heavy by the evening. Overnight on Friday, all the storm clouds will disappear, bringing clear and bright skies for the weekend in most areas. Perfect weather to enjoy the outdoors with your family and friends. Now listen again. And now the weather for the next three days. Tomorrow, storms will continue across most of the country, except for the southeast, which will see some improvement in the evening. On Friday, 
winds will drop a lot, although rain will still cover most of the country and will become less heavy by the evening. Overnight on Friday, all the storm clouds will disappear, bringing clear and bright skies for the weekend in most areas. Perfect weather to enjoy the outdoors with your family and friends. Five. Who robbed the bank? Police were called to a bank in the center of town when a man stole a lot of money. Customers in the bank said that he had a gun and pointed it at the bank staff. He told them to put the money in his bag. He managed to get away with over two hundred thousand pounds. He is described as being white, six foot tall, with black hair, glasses, and a beard. Anyone who might have any information should contact the police immediately. He is very dangerous and shouldn't be approached. Now listen again. Police were called to a bank in the center of town when a man stole a lot of money. Customers in the bank said that he had a gun and pointed it at the bank staff. He told them to put the money in his bag. He managed to get away with over two hundred thousand pounds. He is described as being white, six foot tall, with black hair, glasses, and a beard. Anyone who might have any information should contact the police immediately. He is very dangerous and shouldn't be approached. Six. What will the woman do last? John, where are you going? Don't forget you promised to cook dinner for us today. Me? I never promised to do that. You must have imagined it. Yes, you did. You said you would cook dinner after we had breakfast with the kids this morning. But before that, you can all help me in the garden. Shall I wash up first? No, I'll take care of the dishes when we've eaten. Okay then. Let's get started outside. The grass needs cutting. Now listen again. John, where are you going? Don't forget you promised to cook dinner for us today. Me? I never promised to do that. You must have imagined it. Yes, you did. You said you would cook dinner after we had breakfast with the kids this morning. But before that, you can all help me in the garden. Shall I wash up first? No, I'll take care of the dishes when we've eaten. Okay then. Let's get started outside. The grass needs cutting. Seven. What does the man want to do at the weekend? Look at this advert for outdoor activities at the weekend. The climbing looks very interesting. Dad, I don't think anyone in this family is in shape for such an activity. Why don't we go sail along the coast instead? It will be warmer there. But we've done that before. I would like us to try something else. So what else do you suggest? Oh, I know. There's a beginners course every Saturday at the mountain ski school. I will give them a call to book three places for us on the course. Now listen again. Look at this advert for outdoor activities at the weekend. The climbing looks very interesting. Dad, I don't think anyone in this family is in shape for such an activity. Why don't we go sail along the coast instead? It will be warmer there. But we've done that before. I would like us to try something else. So what else do you suggest? Oh, I know. There's a beginners course every Saturday at the mountain ski school. I will give them a call to book three places for us on the course. That is the end of part one. Test five, part two. Now turn to part two. Questions eight to thirteen. For each question, choose the correct answer. Eight. You will hear a girl talking about her illness. Hey. Why haven't you been at school for the past week? 
I've been in bed with the flu. It was awful. I must have caught it at school, so be careful and wash your hands a lot. Lots of kids have it. I had such a high temperature and bad cough that my mum wanted to take me to hospital. But the doctor advised her not to, as I might catch something else in hospital. Poor you. Tell me when you're feeling better and I'll come and see you. Shall I bring you homework? No, thanks. Now listen again. Hey, why haven't you been at school for the past week? I've been in bed with the flu. It was awful. I must have caught it at school, so be careful and wash your hands a lot. Lots of kids have it. I had such a high temperature and bad cough that my mum wanted to take me to hospital. But the doctor advised her not to, as I might catch something else in hospital. Poor you. Tell me when you're feeling better and I'll come and see you. Shall I bring you homework? No, thanks. Nine. You will hear two friends discussing a band. Have you heard this band's latest album? Their new stuff is great. Yes. Actually, I saw them live in concert last year. I have to admit, I was disappointed though. They played only their new songs, but their older stuff is much nicer. And the tickets were very expensive. Yeah, I heard they were. But you know, they give most of the money to charity, which is really generous. Most bands just want to get rich quick, so I think that we shouldn't really complain. Yeah, looking at it like that, I guess you're right. Now listen again. Have you heard this band's latest album? Their new stuff is great. Yes. Actually, I saw them live in concert last year. I have to admit, I was disappointed though. They played only their new songs, but their older stuff is much nicer. And the tickets were very expensive. Yeah, I heard they were. But you know, they give most of the money to charity, which is really generous. Most bands just want to get rich quick, so I think that we shouldn't really complain. Yeah, looking at it like that, I guess you're right. Ten. You hear a boy telling his friend about a movie he saw. Did you go and see that new documentary movie last night? Yeah, it was really powerful. It's all about the terrible way we use animals. Did you know that animal farming is causing most of the damage to the environment? I thought it was because we use cars too much. It certainly made me think. Really? But we can't do much about that. We need to use animals and cars. Actually, we don't need to use animals at all. We can eat other things and be healthy. The message I got was that things are changing for the better. Now listen again. Did you go and see that new documentary movie last night? Yeah, it was really powerful. It's all about the terrible way we use animals. Did you know that animal farming is causing most of the damage to the environment? I thought it was because we use cars too much. It certainly made me think. Really? But we can't do much about that. We need to use animals and cars. Actually, we don't need to use animals at all. We can eat other things and be healthy. The message I got was that things are changing for the better. Eleven. You hear two friends talking about a new teacher. Have you had the new maths teacher yet? Yeah, I had him today. He's really good. The class was really quiet because he made the lesson so interesting. And you know me, I hate maths. Yes, he's good, but I found him a bit frightening, like the physics teacher. I forgot my calculator and he refused to let me get in from my classroom. I had to work everything out without it. It took me ages. And he kept another girl's smartphone because she was sending a text message during the lesson. Hmm. You'll be more careful next time.
Now listen again. Have you had the new maths teacher yet? Yeah, I had him today. He's really good. The class was really quiet because he made the lesson so interesting. And you know me, I hate maths. Yes, he's good, but I found him a bit frightening, like the physics teacher. I forgot my calculator and he refused to let me get in from my classroom. I had to work everything out without it. It took me ages. And he kept another girl's smartphone because she was sending a text message during the lesson. Hmm. You'll be more careful next time. Twelve. You will hear two friends talking about language learning. I've decided to learn Spanish after the summer. It's great being able to communicate with people abroad. Ah, I guess your holiday in Spain started this. But there's no need to because they all speak English in the hotels. And almost all the young people know English nowadays. Anyway, Spanish is such a difficult language. The pronunciation is hard, but if you don't speak anything but English, you can't travel away from the tourist centres or learn about another culture. I think everybody should try and speak another language. You go ahead, but I'll just stick with English. Now listen again. I've decided to learn Spanish after the summer. It's great being able to communicate with people abroad. Ah, I guess your holiday in Spain started this. But there's no need to because they all speak English in the hotels. And almost all the young people know English nowadays. Anyway, Spanish is such a difficult language. The pronunciation is hard, but if you don't speak anything but English, you can't travel away from the tourist centres or learn about another culture. I think everybody should try and speak another language. You go ahead, but I'll just stick with English. Thirteen. You hear two friends talking about their plans. So, where shall we go? I like to do a bit of sightseeing. Hmm, it's too hot for that. Besides, it will be full of other school groups. Why don't we go on that river cruise we saw advertised? It's a sightseeing tour, but it may be a bit cooler. That would be great, but I saw they don't do them at weekends in the mornings. I guess we could all go to the beach for a few hours and go on that later, after lunch. OK, but how can you think of food in this weather? Now listen again. So, where shall we go? I like to do a bit of sightseeing. Hmm, it's too hot for that. Besides, it will be full of other school groups. Why don't we go on that river cruise we saw advertised? It's a sightseeing tour, but it may be a bit cooler. That would be great, but I saw they don't do them at weekends in the mornings. I guess we could all go to the beach for a few hours and go on that later, after lunch. OK, but how can you think of food in this weather? That is the end of part two. Test five, part three. Now turn to part three. Questions 14 to 19. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one or two words, or a number, or a date, or a time. You have 20 seconds to look at part three. You will hear an announcement at a fitness centre. Good morning everyone. Welcome to Fitness Week at our special health centre. I can promise you three things if you sign up for this course. Firstly, you will become healthier. Number two, you will learn lots of new exercise techniques. And number three, you will work very hard. Our gyms and swimming pools are all new and fully equipped. So all you need to take with you is a good pair of trainers, a tracksuit, shorts and t-shirts for the gym. Don't forget also to take a swimming costume. We start on a Sunday 
and the first day is an introduction. Each person will be weighed and fill in a quick health questionnaire. Then we will work out a plan with specific targets for each person based on their individual needs. For the rest of the week, we will have morning exercise sessions in the gym, where a personal trainer will ensure you are exercising correctly. After a healthy snack, the afternoon will consist of exercises in the pool and then relaxation in the spa. On the last day, you will all be individually weighed and assessed to determine how much progress you have made. Then there will be a talk about fitness strategies and how you can maintain your progress in everyday life. Book your place in the next two days and you will get a 25% discount. You will pay only £15 a day, which works out at £100. No, I'm sorry, that's £105 for the whole week. Now listen again. Good morning everyone, welcome to Fitness Week at our special health center. I can promise you three things if you sign up for this course. Firstly, you will become healthier. Number two, you will learn lots of new exercise techniques. And number three, you will work very hard. Our gyms and swimming pools are all new and fully equipped. So all you need to take with you is a good pair of trainers, a tracksuit, shorts and t-shirts for the gym. Don't forget also to take a swimming costume. We start on a Sunday and the first day is an introduction. Each person will be weighed and fill in a quick health questionnaire. Then we will work out a plan with specific targets for each person based on their individual needs. For the rest of the week, we will have morning exercise sessions in the gym, where a personal trainer will ensure you are exercising correctly. After a healthy snack, the afternoon will consist of exercises in the pool and then relaxation in the spa. On the last day, you will all be individually weighed and assessed to determine how much progress you have made. Then there will be a talk about fitness strategies and how you can maintain your progress in everyday life. Book your place in the next two days and you will get a 25% discount. You will pay only £15 a day, which works out at £100. No, I'm sorry, that's £105 for the whole week. That is the end of part three. Test five, part four. Now turn to part four. Questions 20 to 25. For each question, choose the correct answer. You have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part four. You will hear a radio interview with an athlete called George. George, welcome to the show. You've had a fantastic few years, haven't you? With both gold and silver medals in international events. Yes, I'm really pleased with the way things have gone lately. Did you first develop a passion for athletics as a young child? I was very active as a little child, and I think my parents were looking for a way to use some of my energy. But it wasn't until secondary school that I was introduced to athletics, and then I got a scholarship to university because I had done so well in the school athletics team. I guess I was really passionate about athletics from about 13 years old. So, was it your school teachers that made you believe that you could have a career in sport? Not really. I had some great teachers at school and, of course, now I have some of the best coaches in the world. But it's always been my father that has supported me and told me that I can achieve anything I want to do. He's my best friend as well as being my father. Tell us about the moment you won your first gold medal. You must have been so excited. The funny thing was that I was lost in my own world during that race. Do you mean you were too tired to feel anything? No, not at all. I was concentrating so much on finishing the race that I hadn't realized I was the winner. I couldn't believe it when I looked up and there was no one ahead of me. But there must be some things that aren't so good. Oh, of course. I mean, I have to train all the time, which generally I enjoy, and I get to travel to some amazing places. 
but I have a baby son now, and I really miss him when I'm away. It's difficult for my wife too. On the other hand, I have a lot of fun too, and wherever I go, there are interesting people who I often become good friends with. Do you mind all the publicity and the reporters everywhere wanting to interview you? Not at all. It's all part of the job. Finally, George, are you going to retire soon and become a full-time dad, or maybe become a TV presenter for a sports channel? No, not for a long time. I'd like to give something back. I've had so much help from other people, and I would really like to help young people get involved in athletics and teach them everything I have learned over the years. I'm especially interested in working in schools in poor areas, as quite often that's where the athletes of the future can be found. Just like me when I was young. George, thank you very much. My pleasure. Now listen again. George, welcome to the show. You've had a fantastic few years, haven't you? With both gold and silver medals in international events. Yes, I'm really pleased with the way things have gone lately. Did you first develop a passion for athletics as a young child? I was very active as a little child, and I think my parents were looking for a way to use some of my energy. But it wasn't until secondary school that I was introduced to athletics, and then I got a scholarship to university because I had done so well in the school athletics team. I guess I was really passionate about athletics from about thirteen years old. So was it your school teachers that made you believe that you could have a career in sport? Not really. I had some great teachers at school, and of course. Now I have some of the best coaches in the world, but it's always been my father that has supported me and told me that I can achieve anything I want to do. He's my best friend as well as being my father. Tell us about the moment you won your first gold medal. You must have been so excited. The funny thing was that I was lost in my own world during that race. Do you mean you were too tired to feel anything? No, not at all. I was concentrating so much on finishing the race that I hadn't realized I was the winner. I couldn't believe it when I looked up and there was no one ahead of me. But there must be some things that aren't so good. Oh, of course. I mean, I have to train all the time, which generally I enjoy, and I get to travel to some amazing places. But I have a baby son now, and I really miss him when I'm away. It's difficult for my wife too. On the other hand, I have a lot of fun too, and wherever I go, there are interesting people who I often become good friends with. Do you mind all the publicity and the reporters everywhere wanting to interview you? Not at all. It's all part of the job. Finally, George, are you going to retire soon and become a full-time dad, or maybe become a TV presenter for a sports channel? No, not for a long time. I'd like to give something back. I've had so much help from other people, and I would really like to help young people get involved in athletics and teach them everything I have learned over the years. I'm especially interested in working in schools in poor areas, as quite often that's where the athletes of the future can be found. Just like me when I was young. George, thank you very much. My pleasure. That is the end of part four. That is the end of the test. Thank you.